Pranam Mukherjee has become India's 13th president today, sworn in at the Central Hall of Parliament after acting as a UPA troubleshooter for decades. Pranam Mukherjee gears up to play a completely apolitical role. Above personal or partisan interests in the service of the national good. The principal responsibility of this office is to function as the guardian of our constitution. I will strive, as I said on oath, to preserve, protect, and defend our constitution, not just in word, but also in spirit. We are all across the divide of party and region partners at the altar of our motherland. Our federal constitution embodies the idea of modern India. For our development to be real, the poorest of our land must feel that they are part of the narrative of rising India. Navika Kumar and Srinjai Chaudhary with me. Uh, Navika, all eyes will be on what kind of a president Pranam Mukherjee is a very politician before he's taken on this ceremonial role. Well, Pranam Mukherjee in his first uh, speech of acceptance of the President's office uh, was very forthright, uh, talked about the economic development, the inclusive growth and many are seeing this as uh, the kind of agenda that the UPA government has been following as far as uh, the food security bill is concerned because he did refer to the fact that there should be uh, an all-encompassing uh, development and that hunger is the biggest humiliation. He also went on to say that the poor people should be part of the narrative of a developing India. India. So clearly, Pradam Mukherjee, even as echoes grow, that he will uh, be somebody who will throw open the doors of uh, Rashtrapati Bhavan uh, for interaction with members of parliament, uh, with uh, the government, with the opposition, as well as uh, with the people of India, will be somebody who will really play a very crucial role when the next general elections uh, does take place in 2014 and the kind of government that gets sworn in at that stage. All eyes on Rashtrapati Bhavan, on President uh, Pranam Mukherjee. Uh, also uh, joining us this morning is uh, our National Affairs Editor Shinjoy Chaudhary. Shinjoy, we saw the ceremonial uh, this morning uh, where uh, the 13th President of India was sworn in and the change of guard really from uh, President Pratibha Patil to President uh, uh, Pranam Mukherjee did take place. Uh, what uh, really is uh, the office of the President likely to symbolize from here on? Well, Pranam Mukherjee spoke on two wars. In between all this talk about love, quoting uh, Swami Vivekananda, he spoke about the war against terror and the war against poverty. And clearly those, seem, those two issues seem to be absolutely uppermost in his mind. And both have to be sorted out, is the impression that he gave. Uh, that apart, uh, as you rightly said, 2014 will be the crucial time. Because perhaps after Rajendra Prasad and Neelam Sanjeeva Reddy, he has been, uh, a, he is going to be a political president. There hasn't been a political president un, uh, uh, recently. Pratibha Patil, in a sense, was not. Kalam definitely was not. Narayanan was not. In fact, two of the last three were not politicians at all. Uh, so as a result, uh, there will probably be a more political uh, uh, outlook as far as Rashtrapati Bhavan is concerned over the next five years. Uh, that much is very clear. We'll just have to see what are the issues, uh, apart from terror and poverty, uh, that Pranam Mukherjee will dwell on and how he deals with it. It's not just uh, what he does, but how he does it. Kalam, for instance, had a certain way of doing it. We'll have to see what is Pranam Mukherjee's way of doing it.